like to palpate the athlete's ankle with them sitting with their legs dangling over the end of the bed. And so I start laterally, so I start at the lateral malleolus and palpate along the posterior aspect of the, the distal fibula and lateral malleolus, looking for tenderness. Over the tip of the lateral malleolus and then anteriorly to that around the ATFL, which is the most commonly injured ligament around the ankle. From there, I like to assess ankle strength in a position of plantar flexion. So ankle eversion or perineal strength. So hold there, Martin, stop me pushing this way. So hold hard. So that's an important test if someone has ankle instability. So perineal strength is very important. And then ankle inversion, hold your ankle there, stop me pushing inwards. So testing the uh, tibialis posterior or inversion strength. We're then gonna get your shuffle back. And in this position, I assess ankle inversion and eversion. So looking for the Taylor tilt test. So there's an increase in range of motion there and they're symmetric. And also I test an anterior draw. So bring the ankle up into 90 degrees or into neutral. And we're trying to move the ankle forward relative to the tibia. So good solid end point there, no real increase in laxity. We're also going to get you to stand on one leg, so let's have you stand on your left leg. So we're just having a, a general assessment of her balance and proprioception. If you look at the ceiling, and then can you stand there balancing with your eyes closed? So all of those things make balancing progressively more challenging, and if, if the athlete has impaired proprioception, may be important. <laughs>